guys, as you may know, we were unable to do um, a Tiger TV episode on Wednesday, and that is partially my fault, I can admit. One, because I messed up my segment and I put in the wrong segment for Corey's controversial opinions. I put in the wrong episode and we had to edit that out. But also, I will take the blame for putting it in the wrong output, which ended up making it look like this. And so we couldn't air Tiger TV. I will take that blame. Even though it's Hispanic Heritage Month, I will take the blame. You know? And I just think... I just think that, I just, oh, it just gets me so emotional. I just want to say, I'm so, I'm so sorry, guys. I didn't, I didn't mean to, like, put all your hard work to shame. And I, I just, I can't do this. I, I love working with y'all. Tiger TV is so fun. But if y'all want a third, School. I'm Lily Andy. And I'm Cal Floyd. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Tiger, Tiger TV. TV. Attention juniors and sophomores, if you signed up for the PSAT or NMSQT on Saturday, October 15th, please pick up a copy of the student guide outside of room 1210. Final senior portraits are almost coming to an end. The last day for students who have not had a chance to take portraits to do so is Friday, September 30th. Pictures can be taken in the AHS auditorium and you must bring a $10 sitting fee. The link you can be found on SchoolG to sign up for pictures. Reminder that senior dues are due on My School Bucks by Saturday, October 1st to receive a t-shirt. Senior dues include the diploma and graduation setup slash rental expenses, excluding the cap and gown purchase. Homecoming is around the corner on September 24th. Today we will have our homecoming parade roar on the corner at 5.30. We hope to see you all there. Also this week is our homecoming dance on Saturday, September 24th from 8 p.m. to 11. I wonder what the weather's like. Me too. Let's go check out the three-day forecast here in the city of Auburn. I think that it's a really big honor, especially being here at Auburn High School. Like, it's just, it's more like being in like a family. Um, and it's also really cool to get like, meet other girls, especially the other girls on homecoming court because they're all really sweet and nice. And yeah. Um, to be homecoming queen would be such like an amazing like experience. And just, I think that it's especially important, like as a black woman, like I get to, like be an influence and like representation for other younger black girls at the high school and even like in their younger ages. So I think it would be really cool to be homecoming queen because of that. Um, I hope to gain some new friendships with other girls. I think it's really awesome to all be here together. Um, it's also really cool to be able to see what homecoming is like from like another perspective other than just like going and experiencing like the different activities of the week. Um, being a member of AHS is more like being in a family, like you always have someone to go to, like I've always had like an adult that I feel com like comfor comfortable with and I just, it's always really like amazing just to be here. Um, so I'm Vice President of Diversity Council and I'm a cab member of ACE and both of those clubs we work to 
make a more diverse and like inclusive high school, um, especially with Diversity Council, we try really hard to make sure that everyone still feels equal and represented. Um, and this benefits me because I'm able to like talk one-on-one -on -one with other students at the high school and see how they experience it here. I'm also able to speak on their behalf when like people are, they feel like they haven't been put equal or they're facing adversity. Um, I think my ideal homecoming would be something that has other cultures involved. Like this year for ACE, we're hosting the HBCU Expo and you're gonna be able to come and look at like how homecoming is at, like blacks colleges and universities and I think that's a really good opportunity and I just think that homecoming can be something inclusive for everyone and where everyone can have come and have fun and not feel like they're isolated. Um, I would encourage everyone to be their best and genuine selves. We all come from different backgrounds and homes and like have different experiences so it's, I think it's important to be understanding and just have everyone feel like they can always be their true selves. Um, my biggest accomplishment would probably be becoming an Auburn High School ambassador. Um, being an ambassador gives me a lot of like experiences within the community and I get to meet a lot of different people, not just at Auburn High School, but at Auburn City Schools as well. Um, and I get the opportunity to interact with other members and peers at the high school as well. Um, I want to spread that being considerate and compassionate for others is so important and you just never know like what someone's going through and that it's really important to just be kind and that can be really impactful in someone's life. It is such an honor to be a part of Homecoming Court and just to be viewed as someone, um, just to be with such a great group of girls, um, it's such a blessing, um, so yeah. It would just be the icing on the cake. I think it's already such an honor um, to be on the court. And so just to be able, all the girls are so deserving, but just to be able to be the queen would be amazing. I hope to gain a new appreciation for just the people and the relationships that I've built over the years of being in high school. And um, just to enjoy and make memories and have fun. It is truly a blessing to be a part of Auburn High School and just Auburn City Schools in general. Um, I think we take it for granted sometimes how great our administration and faculty, teachers, and everybody are. I'm a part of FCCLA and a recent new member of Key Club and specifically in FCCLA, I um, help serve with Tiger Mochas and it has been such a joy to be able to help people's Fridays and um, bring light into the school. I think first off getting a dub with the Ramsey game would be awesome to start it off and then also just creating a safe and fun environment at homecoming so that we can make lifelong memories and um, have things to look back on. I think the biggest thing to stay motivated is to appreciate the people that are around you and be intentional with those around you, um, never forgetting to tell someone how much you love them and care about them and being kind. I think my biggest accomplishment is being a part of the athletic side of Auburn High School. So. Being a sophomore, I got bumped up to varsity volleyball, and it's been an honor to be able to play all three years and to have so much fun making memories. So, I think the biggest message um, I want to send is to live a D1 life. We have lost a, an amazing person this summer, and but he left an amazing legacy. So being able to live um, intentional, um, live with laughter, and just um, being excellent in everything that you do. It means so much to me to be on homecoming court. I'm so grateful for this experience and honor. To be homecoming queen would be such a great honor, but I think all the girls on court are very deserving. And um, yeah. I hope to gain great leadership skills and um, fun memories with all the girls on court. Being a student at Auburn High School is such a blessing. We have great administration, teachers, and staff, and so many opportunities available to us. I'm on the dream team at my church where I lead and serve kids with special needs, and I think it helps me be a positive leader and role model. My ideal homecoming is a week full of fun memories with my classmates and a dance where everyone is together having fun. I would keep the Auburn High School community motivated by um, encouraging everyone around me and staying positive always. I would say that my biggest accomplishment at Auburn High School is gaining so many relationships and making many friends. 
I want to tell everyone that you are loved and that um, to stay positive even if things aren't going your way. To be a part of Homecoming Court, it's a big honor to know that um, my fellow classmates nominated me and voted for me and it's just really exciting to get to do this my senior year. Well, to be Homecoming Queen, it would be another big honor, but I think every single girl on um, Homecoming Court is so deserving and truly represents what Homecoming Queen should be. So. It would be fun and exciting, but I think we're all super deserving for it. I hope to gain just good um, friendships and mem new memories. I'm really excited to do all the activities and meet all the younger girls and get to know them in a better way. I'm very proud to be a member of Auburn. I think it's seriously the best school. I've loved every single year at Auburn City Schools and it's definitely made me the person I am today and it just makes me proud to know that I get to go here and. Um, just be a part of the school. Two of my organizations are FCCLA and Key Club, and both of those are really community service um, heavy, and I think that equips me to just have a servant heart and be um, give back to the community that's given so much to me. So when I think of homecoming, I think just the best memories. When I look back on the past two homecomings, it's seriously some of the best memories of high school and an ideal homecoming would just for everyone to be included and to make memories, have fun. From when you start getting ready for homecoming, the themes, just everything, I just hope it's fun. Um, to keep the HS cam campus motivated, I would say just to remember everyone, like for everyone to remember how grateful we are to go here. I think, like I said earlier, just give back to the community that's given so much to us. I think that's really important. My biggest accomplishment during my time at Auburn is probably being on the All-Star soccer team. I've played soccer since I was a kid and never thought I would even be nominated for an All-Star spot, so being on the team this summer was really special. Um, if I had to send a message to the HS student body, it'd probably be a couple things. One, just comparison is the thief of joy. Be yourself and um, your true friends will love you for who you are. And my second thing is live like Dylan. Just live every single day just like it's your last. Just be generous, be selfless, be intentional, be kind. Um, your words matter. People remember how you made them feel. And um, yeah, live like Dylan. I mean, it's truly an honor that people thought of me to vote. I just feel so blessed, and that's pretty much it. Um, it would be super cool, but I think all the girls are deserving, and I can't wait to see the homecoming queen shine. I really just hope to gain friendships and a cool experience. You know, practicing standing in front of people is always scary, but fun. <laughs> Being a member of AHS is genuinely so fun. It's like you're part of this little family and the programs are so cool and they just have so many options that they didn't have at my prior school. So I'm just so blessed to be an AHS student. So I help an organization called the Compassionate Community. I help lead it and basically every uh, month we make food boxes to distribute to 40 families. It really helps me just help share my blessings with other people, and also do a little part in the community. My ideal homecoming is a dance where everybody can feel accepted no matter what they're wearing, what they look like, who they are. I just want everybody to feel loved and appreciated. Oh, I would be the biggest cheerleader. I will go up to them, just shout out compliments, and just enc encourage people to do whatever their heart desires and just keep them always in my prayers and thoughts. So my biggest accomplishment would probably be last year I was voted second, th second in the state for a dramatic monologue and that to me was just such a beautiful opportunity because I got to experience so many different types of actors and I just loved learning. I just want to say keep going, be kind, always do the best you can do and I promise everything will be okay.
Big news from Auburn High's Ms. Casey Williams. The junior class shirts have arrived. Students who paid dues by the deadline earlier this month, please pick up your t-shirts in AHS 1231, before or after school, or in between classes. We are no longer accepting dues at this time. Mark your calendars, the last day to apply for National Art Honor Society is this Friday, September 23rd. The application link can be found on Schoology. I wonder what else is going around the school. Me too. Let's go check it out. Hi, Tiger TV. I'm Miles Hardy and I'm here with... I'm Mr. Cox. Today we're doing Internet's Most Asked Questions or Auburn High School's Most Wondered Questions about Mr. Cox. So, the first question is, 
How do you feel about the vegetable corn? I know this one's a little overdone, but you know. Yeah, I don't care for it. I don't like the taste or the texture of it. Or I don't like the way that it smells. I don't like the way that it feels in my, I don't like it. <laughs> so the TikTok meme is kind of like... Okay, here's the thing. What a dichotomy. The kid is brilliant. Like, the kid is very bright and funny and charming and winsome. I like the guy. I do not like the content that comes out of his mouth. Fair point. The second question is, are you able to join the graphic and design club without being in your class? So, okay, technically I just found out recently that you, you to be an official member, you have to be in the class. But you can come visit anytime you want and partake in our cookies and our music and just the fun. It's good to know. How do you feel about your TikTok fan? I don't know if saying this is the right word for it. Okay, what a crazy bit. So you want to hear real quick how it happened? So, yes. okay, Mr. Barnes is right over here. Her daughter, Wesley, came up one day and she said, hey, Mr. Cox, we're going to do an outfit of the day. And I said, okay. And I totally forgot about the conversation. <laughs> then like a week and a half goes by and she comes up and she's like, hey, you ready to do the thing? I was like, what thing? She said, we're describing our outfits. And I said, okay. So she, okay, people don't necessarily know this. She's brilliant and she's like hilarious. And she's, uh, you know, uh, the president of the giant high school and stuff like that, Stuco and stuff like that. So she's so good at doing it, she does it just like a teenager should do it. I'm a fumbling middle-aged man, and so I don't know what I'm doing, you know? And so then, when it was done, we did stuff like that, like all the time in her class, you know? And so then, uh, I forgot that we did it. And then two days later, I'm on uh, in the airport, I'm about to fly out to go do a show, a comedy show, and I got an email from a student, she said, uh, dear Mr. Cox, in case you didn't know, you're famous now. And I was like, what are you talking about? You know, she said, you're OOTD. And I said, what is an OOTD? And at that point, I think it had like 700,000 and then it, it was using it just kept going up. But we were stunned. We had no idea that it would get that traction. It's at 8.3 million. That's silly. Oh God. That's crazy. That is crazy. <laughs> Because I was just like, I was uh, telling my sisters that she used to be on Tiger TV about this uh, segment we filmed with you. Right. And then like literally like like uh, like five minutes later she sent me the TikTok of you. Are you serious? Talking about it's, so, I was like, it's still surreal that we don't. Yeah, yeah. she got on before you page. Yeah, yeah. The fourth question is, it's kind of awkward now since you don't have the beard anymore. Sure. What's right. your beard care routine when you do that? Okay. Well, I washed it thoroughly. <laughs> and I would brush it actually. And but then, you know, then you, sometimes you just got to whack it off. Time would come, right? I wish I could grow a beard, but I... Yeah, that's fun. Was. Keep aspiring. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the last question is, what's your favorite comedian since you are a comedian yourself? Uh, maybe... Maybe, okay, Brian Regan's up there. There's a guy named Tim Hawkins. He's one of them. That's, uh, that's two of the top ones. There's a guy named Michael Jr. Those three. How's it going? So, oh, we're doing a thing. Oh, time out. <laughs> And uh, last bonus question I may have lied to you. Are you living like Larry and Mr. Cox? What does that mean? What does that mean? You know Spongebob? Yeah, yeah. You're living like Larry right here. Yeah, I was like, you living like Larry? I don't know. No, I don't, I don't think I want to live. I don't think I live like Larry. <laughs> Thank you for your time. That was Mr. Cox on Auburn High School's Internet's Most Wondering Questions About Him. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Hi, my name is Lily Andy, and you're watching Tiger TV. I'm here with Emerson, Olivia. We're here with Miss Eccles. This is Miss Foster, and I'm gonna ask them some questions. Okay, would you rather lose your sight or all your memories? Gosh, that one's tough. I would probably say um, sight. Okay. Because you can kind of get along with the help of your friends, and um, you know you want to hang on to the things that are important to you in the past. Memory. Wait. Memories. Yeah, memories. Why? Because you can't really make new memories if you can't see anything. <laughs> so, um, on my site, I have lots of good memories. Would you rather watch nothing but Hallmark Christmas movies or nothing but horror movies? Nothing but horror movies. Nothing but horror movies. Nothing but horror movies. Hallmark can't say I love Hallmark. Christmas. What are people doing? I would get so bored. It's just predictable. Yeah. I don't like Hallmark movies. I think they're cheesy and dumb. Um, I don't really like horror movies either, but at least I could close my eyes. Hallmark movies, hands down. Um, what's one thing no one knows about you? Uh, oh, <laughs> or like your deepest, darkest secret. <laughs> you want me to tell Tiger TV my, de my deepest, darkest secret? Yeah. 
Um, I like Eminem. Not, not the yeah, Eminem is the candies, but Eminem the artist. I'm so vanilla. I have no dark secret. Um, people don't know that I was born on Flag Day. I played soccer for like most of my life because I was really bad at it. Me too. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, that's, that's true. Works. I did do that. But I wasn't very good. guys and welcome back to Cordy's Controversial Opinions, this time with our co-host Lily, who's an official co-host now because she's not a guest anymore. Okay Lily, anything to say to the audience at home? The viewers at home? Okay great. <laughs> our first show that we will be reviewing is Business Proposal, which Lily has never seen, but I can tell you from my heart of hearts that I love that show. It's a K-drama, it's beautiful, it's gorgeous. And I cried and it's just the side character is amazing, and no, no one's ever seen that show before. It's only Cordy. It's only Cordy. Our next show, <laughs> Lily will be reviewing because I've never seen it, and it is called "I Want to Marry Harry." All these girls think that they're dating Prince Harry. They're not. It's just some random guy who looks like <laughs> who looks like Harry. It's That's just really interesting. You guys should go watch it. You say something <clears throat> about society and lying and yeah. snakes and liars. It shows how much the Americans know about the United Kingdom. Rest in peace, Queen Elizabeth II. Love her. Love her. Okay, our next <laughs> show, our next movie actually is The Kissing Booth. And I personally hate it. It is horrible. It is weird. It is gross. I don't understand why she, like, he was, her friend was so mad that she was with his brother. Like, y'all made that list up when you were like five. Calm down, guys. I, I still think she should have stayed with it, though. What do you mean? Like, stayed? Stayed true. Stayed true. I think she should have told him from the beginning. Yeah, I don't think she should have kept it a secret. Yeah, because that's kind of embarrassing, TBH. That's kind of low-key. Yeah, but not it, not a the w, most recent one, she sounded so British. I think that the last one was the worst because she picked the wrong person. Who did she pick? I'm not going to say. You have to go watch it. Does she pick him? <gasps> Thank you guys so much for watching Cordy's Controversial Opinions featuring Lily. That's it for today's episode. You can keep up with Tiger TV by searching AHS Mass Media on YouTube. You can also keep up with us on social media on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram by searching AHS Mass Media. And you can now listen to podcasts on Spotify, Google Podcasts, Amazon Music, and Apple Podcasts by searching AHS Mass Media. More episodes will be added as time goes on. I'm Cal Floyd. And I'm Liliandi. And, and thanks, thanks for watching, watching Tiger TV. TV.